Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Doc, and welcome to another edition of Doc TV. It is Thursday. Uh, what is the date? I think it's the 15th. Yeah, the 15th. It's 1.50 a.m., and I'm doing the video. So, um, you know, I thank you all for watching the video for the BET Awards. I appreciate it. I appreciate the comments. Um, Also, to the new subscribers, thank you for the new people that's following me on Twitter because of the videos. I thank you for all the people that's going back looking at the old videos i saw some new comments for that muslim rant video from back in the day classic moment right there but i thank you all for subscribing and checking it out leaving your opinions and everything like that so um tonight though um well this morning whatever you want to call it i'm going to be talking about you know a few stuff that just came to my mind i just got the phone with some friends and you know how we do when we talk which is also the inspiration behind fnl radio so if you ever hear me talking reckless on the radio and everything that's because I, I you know it's, it's basically conversations from my friends and I'm the one that's like pitching it out to the public so you get to hear my opinion if that makes sense so you know it is what it is but um first thing though the hills the series finale went down on Monday night I went on Tuesday night excuse me well I would say last night but it's Thursday now so you know technically but you know it is what it is but Tuesday, the um, Hills finale went down, but all weekend, they showed, like, every Hills episode ever from the past four years, the past six seasons, they showed it all, and, excuse me, sorry, but, um, nah, um, but the Hills finale, though, was very great, it was everything leading up to it, though, just reliving all those moments, you know, because I'm not going to front i was one of those people that watched Lagoon on the beach and then watched the hills and i watched the city too there's nothing wrong with that you know say what you want but it ain't nothing wrong with it you know good drama is good drama and good television is good television so it is what it is but um the hills finale though the ending was odd i mean not odd it was interesting so it was, it was a nice twist though i will say that and on the after show, Brody explained the ending, you know, with um, Chris, with Kristen. It, like, when Brody walked off, like, I was like, okay. On the, I don't want to give too much away because I know people haven't seen the show, the ending yet or anything like that. So I'm just going to give, like, a little teeny tidbit. But from, like, at the ending when Brody shut the door for Kristen in the car and everything like that in the limo. I was like, okay, another dramatic cut of a ending where you got, you know, just that dramatic ending, and then it just fade off in the hills, and you know, the credits start rolling for next week's show, but that won't happen anymore because you know why the show has ended. Um, and then when they go back to Sean Brody again, like. You see the Hollywood sign, but you see the Hollywood sign, the Hollywood sign moving, and it was a backdrop. And then you see the sound stage and everything. And then I'm like, yo, that was very interesting. So I, you know, it, it was a nice playoff for the fact that people always said the show was fake, you know, it wasn't real, you know, all that. You know, I always looked at it as a real, I always looked at it as a drama with real people. Because, you know, of course they're real people, but it's a real life drama. But even though sometimes it's a little scripted, it is what it is. But, um, Another thing, too, though, like, of course, Heidi and Spencer weren't there, you know, because they, Spencer don't let Heidi look at the internet or look at TV, and, um, I, I know she got that plastic surgery because Spencer beat her ass, basically, like, come on, like, the last couple of seasons, you can see that clearly, that Spencer is crazy as hell, now he got Heidi on the crazy juice, and he beat her ass, and I, I'm, I'm, Hey, you know, that's that's their relationship though. That's how they like to do. That's like how they that's how they like to do, you know. But um so that was the and then the after show and Lauren Conrad came back, you know, it was good to see Lauren and everything, you know, she was the first to do it and stuff like that. So it it was it was good but bittersweet at the same time because it's like, oh the show is ending now, there's no more hills, you know, and um but it it was a good finale though. I so Claire Claire brought with the M T V for that. Into the you know the producers and everything like y'all really did a great job with the show so there you go um another thing too getting into some couples because you oh Justin Bobby and Adriana and 
all that drama. Like, the hills was so much good drama. And, like, you remember everything. Like, you remember names. You remember places. Like, that's how crazy the hills had an impact on everybody. So, you know, I just had to throw that one tidbit back out there. But, you know, um, getting to some couple stuff, though, because I was just thinking about that. Um, it's um, Kate Goslin dating DJ, um, what's it? What's his name? DJ Keemstar. Like, people are saying they're dating. Like, it's right now on Twitter and everything. I was wondering why Kate Gosling is a trending topic. And I'm like, her show came on Sunday night. So, why is she trending tonight? Like, I know we got some late bloomers, but goodness. But where has that she's dating J DJ Keemstar and they got a picture together and everything like that? And I don't know much about Keemstar, but I do. I have heard about, like, some of his stuff that he did, like, on YouTube, like, the FAG movement or something. And, like, trash talking and halo or some whatever so i'm gonna do my research on him so i can talk about the whole situation with fnl radio this friday night 11 p.m make sure you check it out logtalkradio.com slash wdoc so that's a nice little plug right there but um yeah so that's what happened with you know dj kingstar and everything and kate gosman so maybe they're the new couple so you know maybe she it's good that she finally found someone though you know is he right choice we shall see but you know, we've seen John Gosling and his choices of slurs, so, you know, it is what it is. That's the that's the good moment right there. But, um, and that's, though, a couple that sadly broken up, which is Christina Milian and the Dream. Now, I, I got the nice little history on the doc before. I'm just going to read it because I'm just like going off the top right now about this whole situation. Like, they, like their whole relationship started off as a, as a small rumor like last year. You know, then they were seen together on the set of the video for Rocking That Thing. And then, like, you see pictures of them on the beach and stuff. They're going out, lunch, all this good stuff. He, she even came on one of Sisson Park, like, when he was promoting his album. And, like, all of a sudden, like, they're this quiet couple. And then now they're engaged. Then she's pregnant. Then they get married in Vegas. Then they get married in this ceremony in Rome in December. A few months later, the baby's born. Now, they're divorced. And, well, they're about, she filed, well, somebody filed for divorce. We don't know who it was. Somebody filed for it, though. And I can imagine it was Christina because the doctor put was down for a little bit this weekend because, um, like, the server had to upgrade or whatever. So, but I get these pictures, so you might be these pictures of the dream and his assistant. Now, this is the same assistant that he had to go back a couple of weeks ago when promoting the album, Love King, which is in stores right now. He almost like, you know, that's just my assistant, you know, and what's wrong with guys having, you know, being friends with females and everything like that. And get this too. If you go to the doc report, you can check it out. The chick was cool with Christina Milian, like they even got the picture together. But back to the picture, though, that I got emailed this weekend, I'm looking and I'm like, oh, OK, I see the dream hooked up with somebody. But that's not Christina. Like, Christina's not that light. Like, Christina got tan to her. So I'm like, who is this pale chick right here with the black hair? And I'm like, yo, that's not Christina. Like, what's going on? Like, I guess it's good that we finally get to see the dream without his cap and everything. But I'm like, yo, that's scandalous for real, because, yo, y'all, you know, Y'all y'all know for sure, I talked about that relationship like hell on the doc report when it first happened, but then I finally warned up to it, because I'm like, yo, maybe it's genuine love right here. I mean, she is pregnant now, so, you know, she took the extra step, so, you know, maybe something genuine right there, but they're broken up, and here's a quote from uh, the Dream's rep. Terry's the Dream Nash is sad to announce that his marriage to Christina Milian was unsuccessful, and they actually got separated, like, late December. So I'm like, yo, well, y'all renewed your vows in Rome in this big lavish ceremony and stuff, but wow. So what was the purpose for that? Like, I'm gonna talk with the, I'm gonna talk about it more in another video and everything like that, and I'm gonna talk about it on FNL Radio this weekend. But the Dream made that statement, kind of like, like his album was unsuccessful, cause we know his album is unsuccessful right now, Love King, cause it flopped. But like, he treated his relationship like a, you know, like a like an album release that was that fell so now i'll talk about that more in another video and everything this is just a warm-up so y'all stay tuned but i'm gonna check y'all later and all that good stuff thank y'all for tuning in um i got another video for y'all coming soon so peace